Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Master. In this video, we are going to discuss about the P-delta analysis, which is very important when the structure is subjected to axial load as well as the lateral load such as earthquake and wind load. Many of us having the confusion that what is P-delta analysis, it is too difficult to understand and what is the concept behind the P-delta analysis and all. It is not like that, it is very easy, let's make so simple, the concept is very simple. So in this video, let's discuss what is P-delta analysis, how the P-delta analysis can be performed while considering the lateral loads like earthquake and wind load. So without further delay, let's begin. First, let's start off with what is P-delta analysis. It is the analysis which is used when the structure is subjected to gravity load as well as lateral load such as wind load and earthquake loads. This P-delta effect arises due to the interaction between the axial load and lateral deflections in a structure. As you can see in this image, the structure is subjected to axial load as well as the lateral load. Due to the lateral load, it undergo lateral deformation. So this P-delta effect arises due to the interaction between the axial load and the lateral deflections in the structure. So this is the basic concept behind the P-delta analysis. Let's discuss further more to make the clear understanding of this P-delta analysis. When the structure is subjected to lateral load, it deflects laterally and it experiences additional bending moment due to the eccentricity between the applied load and the deformed shape of the structure. This you have to understand clearly. When the structure is subjected to the lateral load, it deflects laterally. You can see here, this is the lateral deformation and it creates additional bending moment due to the eccentricity between the applied load and the lateral deformation, deformed shape of the structure. So this can lead to further deformation and redistribution of internal forces. This you have to understand clearly. Due to the eccentricity, we get additional bending moment and this additional bending moment lead to further deformation and redistribution of forces which in turn affect the structural strength and stability. So to increase the structural strength and stability, we have to undergo this P-delta analysis and make the structure stable. This P-delta analysis is typically performed using numerical methods such as finite element analysis where the non-linear behavior of the structure is iteratively analyzed to capture the interaction between axial load and lateral displacement. So this P-delta analysis can be called as a non-linear analysis or iterative analysis and even we can say it is a second order analysis because we need to capture the interaction between the axial load and the lateral displacement. This is the theoretical part of P-delta analysis. It will be a little difficult to understand the concept but don't worry, we will discuss with the numerical example so that you can understand the concept a bit more clear. Before getting into the calculation, I wanted to explain you further details about this P-delta analysis. In this P-delta analysis, we have a small P-delta and large P-delta. The small P-delta associated with local deformation relative to element caught between end nodes. As you can see in this picture, this is the small P-delta which is mainly associated with the local deformation. It can affect overall structural behavior by slightly reducing the buckling load and can change moment within the member. So it is mainly related to the local deformation such as buckling of the column. It is significant at larger deformation values or in especially slender column. As I said before, small P delta effect is important for local buckling. When it comes to large P delta, so this is the large P delta. When we consider the large P delta, it is associated with displacement of member end. It is important for overall structural behavior under significant axial load. Because this large P delta we consider when the axial load consider along with the axial load and the larger deformation due to the lateral load. Finally, the major difference between small P delta and large P delta 
lies in the consideration of influence of axial load on the lateral displacement. The small p delta analysis neglects the influence of axial load on the lateral displacement, whereas the large p delta analysis takes into account of the influence of axial load on the lateral displacement to get the accurate predictions of structural behavior. So this is the major difference between small p delta and the larger p delta. Now let's move on to the calculation. Here we are having the axial load p and the lateral load q. For this you will be getting the reaction force. This is your vertical force and this is your horizontal force q. And the moment you will be getting due to the lateral load that is load into distance q into h. So this is how you will be getting the moment. So when the structure having the lateral deflection delta, the load will be acting over here p and lateral deflection is q. So in addition to this moment q into h, you will be having the additional bending moment due to this eccentricity. This is what we have discussed before additional moment we are getting due to the eccentricity so that is p into delta so this is our first order analysis and this is the second order analysis in the second order analysis in addition to the first order analysis moment we will be getting the second order analysis moment p delta let's discuss with the numerical example to get even more detail into this concept. We have the numerical example here 10 kN as the axial load, 5 kN as the lateral load, and height of the structure is 30 meter. So, here we will be getting the moment Q into H. Let's look into the reactions. This is the vertical reaction and the horizontal reaction. This is 10 kN, and this one is 5 kN. Let's look into the moment. We have the lateral load as 5 kN and the height is 30 meter. So 5 multiplied by 30 which is 150 kN meter. So this is the moment we are getting. So this is the first order analysis. When you consider the P delta effect, in the P delta effect we will be having the moment 150 plus P into delta. That means we are considering the additional bending moment due to the eccentricity due to the lateral deflection. So this lateral deflection due to the lateral deflection we are having the additional bending moment. So the load is 10 multiplied by the distance is 0.2 meter. We will be getting the bending moment as 152 kilonewton meter. So this is the bending moment we are getting due to P delta effect. So this is the second order analysis. Let's write here in the first order analysis the bending moment is 150 kilonewton meter. If you consider the second, we will be getting the bending moment 152 kilonewton meter. And if you consider the third one, you may get the bending moment 152.5 kilonewton meter. And fourth, you may get 152.56 kN meter. So like this we can do multiple iterations till the changes in the values can be negligible. So until then we can repeat the analysis. In the first order analysis we are considering the moment. We are not considering the additional bending moment due to the lateral deflection. So this is linear analysis. In this only single run analysis can be performed. This is non-linear analysis or even we can call this as a second order analysis. Second order analysis and multiple run analysis can be performed. So this is the difference between first order analysis and second order analysis. In this P delta analysis or non-linear analysis, we can get the accurate result to make the structure more stable. So that is the structural engineer's responsibility to ensure the structure is stable under various loading conditions. So friends, I hope the concept is clear now. If you want to know more details about linear analysis and non-linear analysis, please do comment in the comment box. I will post a separate video for that. I hope you all like this video and if you really like the content, hit the like button and also share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.